what's up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hey girl hey make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when i upload a new video and if you're not already sis make sure you follow me on instagram at the hair life and the hair life official so you guys today i'm gonna be showing you these wand waves on this body wave wig from hermosa hair thank you guys for sponsoring this video so i showed you guys the texture of the unit before i washed it or did anything to it now i'm showing you up close on the knots on this wig um the hairline was slightly pre-plugged but definitely had to go in and do some more customizing and here's an up close look on the lace so this is what the lace looked like after i bleached the knots and you guys can see usually when you bleach knots the color that's in like that back bottom corner of the lace it looks like that all across so the knots really did not bleach i bleached them for about an hour with some 30 volume developer and this is what they look like front to back so yeah um definitely would suggest going in with 40 volume developer for like an hour so you guys have seen me customize units plenty of times so i'm not going to talk through this i'm gonna let y'all watch show y'all up close on the knots again but i'm just taking my hot comb pushing everything back so i can get my part and everything together now i will say um, I already told you guys about the knots, but I will say the ventilation as well was a little bit tight. So I did go in with my tweezer and tweezers and just opened up that part a little bit. Just plug some of those hairs out of the part to make it look more natural. So yeah, I'm going to let you guys watch the customization and everything and I will be back. wanted to know do you know somebody name you, you know his name oh yeah definitely i know his name i just want to let you know that he's mine <laughs> no no he's mine It is time to style so i'm gonna take my garnier fortise sleek and shine serum i did like a pump and a half and i applied that all over the hair from the top to the bottom definitely want to make sure you focus on the ends as well so i'm going to be using a new wand today this was a one inch by bedhead i'll link it down below and my beyond the zone heat tamer spray i just always like to use some type of heat protectant as well and it smells really good so you guys can see i'm not curling this like traditional wand curls we're doing some waves so you're just going to wrap the hair around the barrel flat.
get into the install. So, of course, I'm just taking my foundation and I'm running this all across the hairline area and where my part is going to be on my cap. And I'm going to plop this on. I was trying to make sure everything was centered. And then I'm going to cut my lace because I never really showed myself cutting the lace. So I decided to show you guys this time. And I went in with my zigzag scissors. I either use these or I use a razor. Now I'm going to take the wig off and place my foundation in that parting area and all across the hairline, just like I did on my cap to make sure that the lace blends in. Um, Cause you guys can see the color of the lace before. I was a little worried that it wasn't going to tint good, but it actually, it looked very natural after I put the foundation on. So I'm going to take my wax stick and my hot comb, lay everything back down. And I'm gonna just relay my baby hairs with the Go Ho Liquid Bold and the Perfection Collection mousse. So I did just do some light layering in the front just to help those front pieces fall a little bit better. I recurled a few pieces and combed them out, added some Sebastian Shaper Spray to give it some volume and hold. And that was it for this look, you guys. Let me know what you think down below. So yeah, you guys, I love the wand waves. Let me know what y'all think below. And I'm also gonna show you guys, I did another little quick style, literally like two seconds. I, I took two pieces out, twisted the hair up in the back, clipped it with one of my clips, and it was really cute. I'm like, this is a little vibe, you know, a little soft updo. Um, and the way they constructed the unit, you could definitely get away with doing that without your webs in the back being exposed. So yeah, let me know what y'all think about this down below, and I'll catch y'all on my next one. Bye. Stroke it for me, stroke it for me, stroke it for me. Mm -hmm. Stroke it, baby, stroke it.